Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to Ink Kids. Today we're going to be reading some stories and singing some songs together. One, two. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day because I know he loves me. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day because I know he loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I like to jump every day because I know he loves me. Now I like to clap. Do you like to clap? I like to clap every day. I like to clap every day. I like to clap every day because I know he loves me. I like to clap every day. I like to clap every day. I like to clap every day because I know he loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to clap every day because I know he loves me. Now, I like to dance. And I need to see some of your best dance moves at home. You ready? I like to dance every day. I like to dance every day. I like to dance every day because I know he loves me. I like to dance every day. I like to dance every day. I like to dance every day because I know he loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to dance every day because I know he loves me. Because I know he loves me. Because I know he loves me. Thank you, Jesus. We love you so much. Hi, everyone. My name's Cherie, and I brought something in to show you this morning. I brought this little bag, and in my little bag, I have some coins. Can you see those coins there? Some of them are bigger, and some of them are smaller, and some of them are worth a little bit less and some of them are worth a little bit more, but they're all coins and they are here to help us remember the story this morning. Shall we read? Let's go. The story we're gonna read this morning is called Two Small Coins for God, and it's written by Jill Kemp. Let's read together. Jesus went to the big temple, that's like church, at Jerusalem to tell people about God. He saw some people putting their gifts of money into the donation box. A very rich man came into the temple with a big bag of money. He was putting it all into the donation box, just like our jingly coins, and he had lots of them. The rich man was very pleased with himself. And he hoped everybody would notice how much money he put in to the box. It jingled loudly as it went in. Such a lot of money. It was easy for the rich man to give lots of money. 
He had plenty of money to spend and he could buy anything he wanted. The rich man had lots more money at home. Then Jesus saw a poor little lady quietly drop two tiny coins into the donation box. She didn't have much money, but she loved God very much. The poor lady had no more money to give. She could have kept that money for herself, but she gave it with a heart of thankfulness and a heart of love. Jesus said, this poor lady has given more than all the rich people. Giving money didn't matter one bit to them, but this lady gave to God when she didn't have very much. Did you know that God sees the way that we give to him? He wants us to give because we love him and not so that others can see how much we give. He doesn't care about how rich we are or how poor we are or how important we think we are. Do you remember in that story, we saw some coins and we had our coins at the beginning of the story and the lady in the story, she just had very small coins, didn't she? Not very many stories, not very many coins. But it was a special gift because it was precious to her and it showed God how much she loved him. Do you know that you can give God a gift today? It might be coins, like the lady in the story, or it might be giving some time to read your Bible, or you might give a gift of being kind to your friends and your family, just like Jesus would be kind to you, or maybe your gift is just talking to God in prayer, and praying is just talking to God like we're talking now. So maybe have a think today about what you could give, just like the lady in the story, and give it with a thankful heart. See you next time. Jump, jump, jump into the light, light, light. Run, run, run away from what's not right. Jump, jump, jump out of the dark, dark, dark. Run to Jesus, give him your heart. Jump, jump, jump into the light, light, light. Run, run, run away from what's not right. Jump, jump, jump out of the dark, dark, dark. Run to Jesus, give him your heart. See, he's the light. He is the light. He is the light. He is the light. The light. He is the light. He is the light. He is the light. The light. Really be jump. Jump into the light, light, light. Run, run, run away from what's not right. Jump, jump, jump out of the dark, dark, dark. Run to Jesus, give him your heart. Let's jump again. Jump, jump, jump into the light, light, light. Run, run, run away from what's not right. Jump, jump, jump out of the dark, dark, dark. Run to Jesus, give him your heart. Sing, run to Jesus. Run to Jesus, give him your heart. Hi, amazing kids. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kelly. My beautiful red bird is Rosie, and the beautiful green one is Bar. For this week's craft, we're going to make a tic-tac-toe game where you'll use Jesus markers or widow markers to play the game. All right, let's get creative. For your first step, to decorate your board game, color in between the lines, whatever color you would like, and it will look just like this. There are two 
sets of markers you need to colour in. There are six with the widow and six with Jesus. Colour in each set of the markers the same. That way, when you're playing the game, you'll easily be able to identify which pieces are yours. Great job, guys. Once you've finished colouring it in and cutting out your coins, they'll look a little bit like this. Now it is time to have a go at playing your game. Choose someone you would like to play your game with. Grab your game board, take it in turns on placing one coin at a time in any of the chosen squares and then whoever gets three lined up next to each other or on an angle wins the game. I hope you really enjoy this game and have a great time playing it with your friends and your family. I'll see you next week. Bye.